You can't work in this field without having a love or passion for the coast. I love fishing, diving, sailing. I love playing in the water. I love eating the kaimoana that comes out of the water. I have a family. My kids love to do the same thing. I grew up by the sea. I've been an oceanographer, active in marine research, and I believe the marine environment is really, really critical to us. It brings life, it gives life, it takes life. Uh, we live to be a part of that. So it's absolutely fundamental that we understand how to protect this marine environment for future generations of New Zealanders. The Sustainable Seas National Science Challenge really brings together the very best of New Zealand's scientists and experts to underpin our knowledge and the development of new tools for ecosystem-based management. Ecosystem-based management is a holistic approach to managing an environment, in this case a marine environment, where you're looking not at a single activity, but all the activities that are going on in the environment and all the values that people hold for that environment. And I think this is like revolutionary, I think it's ahead of the game and it's definitely the start of something really, really important. And through this challenge, if we can maintain the biodiversity and maintain the health of the ecosystem, the more resilient it's going to be. The health of the marine environment is incredibly important for the success of our business. But to achieve that, we're just one stakeholder. And we recognise that we need to work really closely with all the other stakeholders nowadays to achieve what we think is a common goal. Uh, you know, from iwi to scientists, to stakeholders, to environmental groups, councils and the Department of Conservation. And I think there's a lot of commonality of uh, objectives and values and what people want to achieve. The sea is interest of all iwi. We are taught by our elders to the kaitiaki of the whenua, of the moana, into tile, not just for our own time here, we want our grandchildren to tell their grandchildren. We want them to be able to swim in the sea, live off the sea, live off the land forever. This challenge looks at um, offshore mining, it looks at oil and gas exploration, it looks at tourism, it looks at fishing, and of course it looks at conservation. And what we need to ensure is that there's enough of the ecosystem that's healthy and left behind for future generations. We need the models and the tools and the information in order to better assess the effects of those activities. And it's not all about economic benefit, it's about balancing all those competing demands. The challenge is unique in the way it brings together such a wide variety of people. The social scientists, the economists, the policy people, the biophysical scientists, those with Maharanga Māori knowledge but also brings in the stakeholders, the industry, the NGOs, Māori and the public. We've got around 120 researchers, over 26 organisations who are all really committed to providing the underpinning science and knowledge for ecosystem-based management in New Zealand. Ecosystem-based management is not a one-size-fits-all but is very place-based so taking the processes and knowledge and applying those in another area will be really important. If we're going to move forward as a community, um, we need to do things differently. To have our values questioned and then decide on what's really important. We're only here for a short time, so we've got a long way to go and we have to go there together. In other words, we need to actually make a, a big step, a bold step, and make a difference. It is a challenge, but it's also a massive opportunity. It'll be a breakthrough for the way in which we extract other resources from the ocean on a sustainable basis.